A DUI arrest turned deadly last night in a small town just northwest of Orofino. According to the Clearwater County Sheriff's Office, DUI suspect Russell Hutter was allowed to return to his car before he was taken to jail. That's when he grabbed a handgun and shot himself. KXY 4's Allie Norton working for you tonight. She spoke with the sheriff and finds out more about Hutter and what led to this tragedy. It's a small community and a very tight-knit workforce, and so the loss of any one of our folks we feel as a deeply personal loss. 57-year-old Russell Hutter worked at the Clearwater Valley Hospital as a registered nurse. It's not far from the market where yesterday's fatal incident started. Law enforcement say Hutter was reported leaving here intoxicated. He traveled several miles before an Orofino police officer caught up with him and stopped him at the Dorshock Dam Overlook. Not too long after, a Clearwater County deputy arrived on scene. This is the parking lot where Hutter took his field sobriety test and failed. Typically, once that happens, he's supposed to be placed in cuffs, but because he didn't, he was able to grab his gun, which led to fatal events. Um, he said, well, can I put my jacket and stuff in my vehicle? Uh, the officer let him put the stuff in the vehicle. While he was in the driver's side of the vehicle, he pulled out a handgun and fired one round. Sheriff Chris Scott says that his deputy shot back multiple times. It was dark, so the sheriff says the deputy probably didn't know Hutter was aiming at himself. Sheriff Scott says it's an apparent suicide, but an autopsy today should confirm that. Both the officer and the deputy have been placed on administrative leave in the meantime. Obviously, the deputy fired a weapon. The other officer was there and, and dealt with the same stressful situations. So we want to make sure that they are both um, fit to come back to work before we bring them back to work. As to why Hutter wasn't cuffed, that could have prevented this all from happening. That's what investigators are trying to find out now, an answer that those in the community hope to find out soon. Russ has been uh, a real treasured and valued employee and an RN of, of just superb capability and compassion and he's going to leave a tremendous hole in our in our lives and in our soul.